What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today's video should be a good one because we have not done anything like this in quite a while and I'm excited. So a year or two ago, we did some videos on these little guys. So this is a pepper ball gun, commonly used by law enforcement and civilians for self-defense. The way they work is they shoot pepper balls that are very similar to pepper spray. So burning, stinging, it's essentially a less lethal self-defense tool. And we got several of these in and they were a lot of fun, way more powerful than I was expecting. But around that same time, we actually got a very cool product that I have not shown you guys yet, and it's probably my favorite one out of the bunch. This is a flashlight that doubles as a pepper ball gun. So if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love stuff like this because it's inconspicuous and it does not look like a weapon or a self-defense tool of any kind. Unless you knew what this was, you would not look at it and think that's a pepper ball launcher. It just looks like a big flashlight that probably has some interesting features. So we're gonna try this thing and see how well it works and I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited. Let's do it. So the way this thing works, there are basically two different operating systems, the flashlight and then the pepper ball launcher. So the light actually runs off three AAA batteries that you put right there. And then there's a little button on the side and that turns on your light. It also has a strobe mode. And actually when you take it off safe and put it on fire, there's a laser that I don't know if you guys can see. You definitely will whenever I put it on target. Um, but all that stuff runs off batteries and then the pepper ball launcher obviously uses CO2. So it runs off these little CO2 cartridges and you can clearly see on the front of the flashlight where the CO2 goes because it's marked with a CO2 canister. So we'll go ahead and unscrew this thing and put our CO2 in. This is what the ammo looks like. It's very similar in size to a paintball, but I do believe the shell is quite a bit harder than a paintball. And these are inert, so they're not actual live pepper ball rounds. I think they're filled with like baby powder or something. Now, we do have some real ones as well, so maybe we'll try those here in a second. But we'll go ahead and start with these and see how powerful this thing is. And again, the safety is right there on the top, so I'll go ahead and move that from safe to fire and that activates our laser pointer and the trigger is that big orange button right there on the top so if you're holding the flashlight just using it like you normally would your hand kind of naturally sits on the trigger so let's shoot it now i doubt you guys can see this but i have the laser pointer right on the middle of the rubber dummy's chest let's take our first shot <laughs> dude that <laughs> is extremely powerful. So I don't remember how powerful the pistol was. I'm sure they're very similar because they use the same CO2 cartridges, but that feels like it's getting there almost instantly. And even without the actual pepper balls, just getting hit with one of those would probably suck. Let's try it again. I believe the magazine capacity is three or five. I'm doing three at a time and it seems to be very accurate. It goes right where the laser's pointing. So let's try that tree since it's a little bit further away and hopefully you guys can see it. Dude, that is screaming. <laughs> Let's try our steel target. Man, this thing is fun. The trigger is a little stiff, which probably isn't a bad thing, but I wanna see how fast we can fire all three shots. <laughs> I think we missed one of them, but we got two out of three, not bad. Now I wanna get this out of the way because I know there will be comments saying it's not a gun and it's not as effective as a gun. And I agree, in my opinion, there is no better self-defense tool on the planet than a firearm. And this is in no way meant to replace that. But everyone is different. Some people are not comfortable with guns. Maybe you have a criminal record and you can't legally own firearms, which I don't necessarily agree with either. If you've done the time, you should probably have your rights back in my opinion. Also, every self-defense situation is different and lethal force is not always needed so there are a million variables but pepper ball launchers are less lethal tools that are not meant to replace firearms so just keep that in mind i'm gonna try it with my thumb and see if we can hit him right in the chin <laughs> dude i don't think i would want to get shot with one of these right in the eyeball It's so satisfying watching those pepper balls hit the target and explode like that. I don't know what that is, but it's extremely fun.
Now where I think these would be most useful is probably like in the glove box of your car. So if you break down on the side of the road or you're out looking for something at nighttime, especially if you're a small woman that's by herself or something like that, and some creepy guy comes up, you point this at him, bang, bang, and they'll probably leave you alone. Unless they're a serial killer, then you're probably gonna need something better like a gun. But for the average creepy dude, this would probably be pretty effective. Now, this is what we've been shooting. Again, these are the inert baby powder rounds, and these are the actual pepper balls. So these are the ones that you do not wanna get hit with. And everyone reacts to pepper spray or pepper balls differently. I know some people have an immunity to it or they're not really affected by it. I'm not one of those guys. When I did the first video last year, we tried some of these live rounds and just walking in the vicinity of the target for like five days after, it would choke me up, make my eyes water. It was really unpleasant. So they do work unless you're one of those freaks that's not affected by this stuff. Now, pepper ball launchers have several different uses. It's not just for close quarter self-defense. One very common use in law enforcement is crowd dispersion or you know flushing bad guys out of a structure, stuff like that. So we stepped back to probably 25 yards and I wanna see how accurate we can be with this thing at longer distance, so. Going for the rubber dummy. A little bit low. Smoked him. <laughs> By the way, with pepper balls, you don't actually have to hit the target. As long as it lands near the target, they're gonna get a lot of that effect. And these are obviously circular projectiles like paintballs, uh, but on the website, I saw these ones that almost looked like rifled shotgun slugs. I'll try to put up a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but they had ridges on the projectile, just like a shotgun slug. And I believe those are intended for much longer range. Obviously with a paintball, they're gonna be easily impacted by wind, top spin, stuff like that. But if you can get a rifle projectile, it's gonna go much straighter at much longer range. So I would like to try those, but we don't have any, unfortunately. We've got one left. Let's see if we can get lucky. <laughs> right to the neck. All right, guys, there you have it. The Pepperball Lifelight Mobile Self-Defense Flashlight. I'm sure a lot of you are disappointed that I did not take one for the team and get shot with a Pepperball, but I would rather enjoy the rest of my day and not ruin it. So we're not gonna do that. I am impressed with this thing. Uh, it was 100% reliable, very powerful, and we had no Pepperballs explode in the barrel, which is something you see quite a bit with these Pepperball launchers. So it appears to be very well made. And I'm not a big less lethal guy. I don't use stuff like this very often, but if I was going to, this would be near the top of my list because it's a freaking pepper ball launcher that looks like and is also a flashlight. And I just love inconspicuous things like this. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'd be glad to hear from you guys as always. If you like the video, let me know down there as well and hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Behind the back headshot. I think we missed.